Anatomy of Roots In this module, you will learn about the internal structure of dicot and monocot roots. Roots are regarded as an important plant organ that influences the development of a plant. In fact, it is the anatomy or the internal structure of the root that is responsible for the numerous significant functions performed by the roots. Now let's first learn about the outermost layer of the root, epidermis. The epidermis acts as a protective covering for the root. It is composed of a single row of thin-walled parenchymatous cells. The parenchymatous cells give rise to unicellular hair-like structures known as the root hairs. These hairs increase the absorption area of the roots and therefore facilitate the absorption of water and minerals from the soil. Unlike in the stem, the epidermis of roots is devoid of the cuticle covering and the minute pores known as the stomata. The layer present next to the epidermis is the cortex. The cortex lies between the epidermis and the endodermis and is composed of several layers of thin-walled parenchymatous cells. Unlike in dicot roots, the cortex of monocot roots is composed of thick-walled parenchymatous cells. The main function of the cortex is storage of food in the form of starch. However, the cortex also aids in respiration as the parenchymatous cells of the cortex bear some intercellular spaces to support the gaseous exchange. The innermost layer of cortex is the endodermis. The endodermis surrounds the vascular tissues and lies between the cortex and the pericycle. The endodermis has a peculiar band of thickenings made up of lignin and suberin. Together, these form the Casparian strip. Due to the presence of the suberin thickening, the Casparian strip prevents leakage or diffusion of nutrients into the outer layers of the roots. The layer, the vascular bundles, comprises the xylem and the phloem arranged in an alternate pattern. This arrangement of xylem and phloem bundles is known as the radial arrangement. The dicot roots are characterized by the presence of conjunctive tissue between the xylem and the phloem. This conjunctive tissue later forms the cambium and helps in the secondary growth of the plant. The xylem in roots is exarch. This implies that the protoxylem lies towards the periphery whereas the metaxylem lies towards the center. Note that the protoxylem is the early formed xylem whereas the metaxylem forms later. In this module you have learned a transverse section of a dicot root reveals an epidermis, cortex, endodermis, pericycle and vascular bundle. All the regions below endodermis are collectively known as steel. In roots, epidermis is the outermost and protective covering which is composed of single row of thin-walled parenchymatous cells. Cortex is the next layer and present between epidermis and endodermis. It is composed of several layers of thin-walled parenchymatous cells. Endodermis, the innermost layer of cortex, lies in between the cortex and the pericycle and surrounds the vascular tissues. The next layer pericycle lies next to endodermis and is composed of meristematic cells and gives rise to lateral roots and vascular cambium. The monocot roots are characterized by the presence of large and well-developed pith Vascular bundles in roots comprises of xylem and phloem that are arranged in an alternate pattern known as radial arrangement. The presence of conjunctive tissue in between xylem and phloem is the characteristic feature of vascular bundles of dicot roots which later forms cambium and help in the secondary growth of plant.